What's going on everybody? I'm Qualtime Vending and today we are going to be servicing four of my bulk vending machines on location. Starting off with this single head at a wing and grill restaurant. This is a 56 day collection so we will go ahead, wipe it down, pop it open and see how it did. After we throw the lock, we will pop off the top, see how it did, and this machine made $13. The product cost was $1.56 for a total profit of $11.44. So we'll go ahead and fill this machine up and move on to the next location. Now we are at a Mexican restaurant where I have a single head. This is one of my slower locations. This is a 72 day collection. But we will go ahead, wipe it down, pop it open and see how it did. I always like to clean the insides of the chute first. So I can't get any germs or anything from the coin mech into the inside of the chute by wiping the coin mech first or anything like that. But we will go ahead, fill up the machine. Then we will pop open the back and see how it did. Now we will pop open the back, see how it did. And this machine made $16.90. The product cost was $2.01 for a total profit of $14.89. So definitely a slower location, but we will go ahead and move on to a pizza restaurant where I have the spiral gumball machine. This is going to be a 38 day collection, but first we need to wipe down the machine. I noticed how loose that chute door was I managed to get that tightened down I'll need to get a special screwdriver to get it tightened down really good but I'll have to order that online so we'll go ahead dump it in the back gumballs open it up see how it did and this machine made $22.10 the product cost was $2.64 for a total profit of $19.46 Now we are at my barbecue restaurant location where I have the Pokemon card vending machine. So we will go on in, see how it is doing. And on first sight, probably not too good given the out of order sign on my machine. But before we open it up, we'll go ahead and wipe it down, get it all clean. This is a 14 day collection and you can see that that out of order sign definitely did a toll on sales. We will go ahead and see how much the other side made. And yeah, a little more than the other side, but still definitely did a total on sales. That was $74. The product cost was $8 for a total profit of $66. And I figured out how it jammed. The cards didn't quite slide down all the way once after somebody bought from it, causing them to get stuck to where you could still buy from it, but you wouldn't get anything out. It's hard to explain, but if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you really enjoyed and like to see more vending content, consider subscribing, and I will see you next time.